hi hello welcome to another video today is my let's get comfy why am i not comfy today is my november book haul so i have a little stack here beside me of books that i obtained purchased etc in the month of november and let's just have a quick chat about them shall we that's not a huge stack this month um i got some gifts from april some things she was unhauling um or had duplicates of um or she didn't want any more a few uh new releases that i'm really excited about that are going to be on my upcoming tbr you get the gist so let's start with the first couple that are on my december tbr so we have Along the Salt White Sea by A. Deborah Baker, which is um, Shauna Maguire. This is the second book in the spin-off middle grade-ish series um, from Middle Game. The first one was, um, uh, it's called the Up and Under series. The first one was called, why am I blanking, Over the Woodward Wall. Um, and the books are like in the Middle Game universe. I really, really liked the first one. I thought it was really whimsical and solid um, and a good, like, different story, but a similar vibe to her Way With Children series. Um, I'm interested to see what I think of book two. It is cute and short, most, most importantly. So I'm planning on getting to this in December, but I'll definitely be reading it in January if not. Um, and yeah, I think it'll be easy to get through. The next one is Cytonic by Brandon Sanderson, which is the third Skywood book. Um, this is a sci -fi, young adult sci-fi series. It's marketed as adult in Australia, but it is young adult in the US. And we follow Spencer with an A, so everyone uses an Australian accent when they say her name, um, whose father was a deserter in this like space army. And she's trying to prove herself. I love... The amount of like images and stuff that are used in these books it's um fast-paced sci-fi action adventure reminds me a lot of like hover car racer if anyone's read that i really liked the first two books can't wait to read this one there's also a set of novellas that are coming out i think the first two are already out before this and then there's a third one coming out after this um that i'm gonna read on kindle but i hope they come in a bind up at some point because i would love to like read a physical bind up too um, but yes, this is also December, and if I don't quite get to it in December, it's going in January. And the same applies to this last one, which is the last of these three, which is The Bone Shard Emperor by Andrea Stewart. Look how chunky it is. It's huge. It's like 600 pages. 550. Um, this is the sequel to The Bone Shard Daughter, which I read recently and really, really enjoyed. This is a Chinese-inspired high fantasy um and the magic is these shards of bone taken from living people, like through trepanning, um, allow the monarchs to influence, um, like to make magics and constructs from these bone shards. Um, and basically the whole world is in turmoil over like political stuff um, and different things are happening. And I really, really liked book one. I'm really excited to read book two, but yeah, it's chunky. So that's also on my December may carry into january tbr <laughs> some other ones that i just picked up that i hope to read soon but i'm not sure exactly when we have uh when night breaks by janella angeles which is the sequel to where dreams descend um i loved where dreams descend it's very um i love the end papers too it's very gilded wolves-esque it's like um magic show magic stage magic but then an element of like real magic underlying it and it's all about stage show, stage magicians um yeah so it says perfect fans of moulin rouge and the phantom of the opera i really really liked book one it was a debut and janella angeles is a filipino author um and i'm really really excited to read book two as well i think it's a duology so i think this is it i think this is the conclusion um so i'm very excited to read this i'm just not sure when i'm gonna get to it next up we have the girls are never gone by sarah glenn marsh this is a podcasty story i think yes the um main character has a podcast i love podcast stories um and it's a paranormal haunted house ghosty kind of story 
I think this has like zombie in the depth vibes, but I feel like it's actually ghosty. Um, I've read another book by Sarah Glenn Marsh before. She has a duology. I've read the first one, Reign of the Fallen. And I never got around to reading Song of the Dead, but I want to. But I think this one could be really, really good. It's like just under 300 pages. Just over 300 pages, sorry. Um, and it's queer and it's dark and it's ooky spooky. And I was going to try and read it in October, but it didn't happen. Uh, A, I didn't have it, but I didn't get to it. Um, so I'm going to try and pick this up sometime early in the new year, but we'll see when I get to it. Maybe I might even slip it into the December um, January TBR, we'll see. Another one I'd like to try and slip in if I can, but it's going to depend entirely on clear your shit bonus prompts, um, is Summer Suns by Lee Mandelo. This is a queer story. I think one of the characters is trans mask. Um, and I know the author is trans mask. Um, this is been described as like Raven Boys fan fiction, which I'm kind of on board with. I'm interested to see like, it is meant to be new adult, like, they're at college age, and I'm interested to see, um, if the things that I like carry over. Like, some people love this, some people don't like this, so I'm curious. I think I'm gonna really love it. I hope I'm gonna really love it. Um, but I think it's, like, right up my alley in that paranormally fabulistic way. So, I'm really curious. I love these hands. Oh, one of the three that April sent me, first off we have Dark Rise by C.S. Paquette. This is a book that I was not sure if I would like. Um, I've never read anything from C.S. Paquette before, even though she's Australian. Um, this is going to be a series, and I know April really enjoyed it. I think she listened to the audiobook, um, but she had an extra copy, so she sent me one. I'm not sure if I like this. I'm going to try it at some point. We'll give it a go. I don't know. <laughs> it is YA, I think, on New Adult. Um, the other one, one of the other ones she sent me was The Quiet at the End of the World by Lauren James. I've read The Loneliest Girl in the Universe, and this was her um, second one that kind of went, like, they're, they're standalones, but I feel like they kind of go together. So I'm pretty sure this follows two characters who are the youngest people on the planet, um, and there's global infertility. And I think they're trying to get them to get together to continue the race, but they don't like each other. Something like that. Um, I think April's read it and just wasn't keen on keeping it, but I really liked The Loneliest Girl in the Universe, and I'm really excited to try this one too. The other one she got me, um, or passed on to me, was a book that she got in her owl crate that I loved, and she just doesn't think it's her kind of thing. And that is uh, These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. I've actually, I'm going to be showing you my next haul, because it didn't come in until just like the other day. Um, but I do also have the second book in this series, uh, Violent Ends. Let me open it. This, so this is the Owl Crate edition. It has, it's signed. It is... Ugh. I'm struggling. It has a letter from the author. Yes. Um, obviously this came out like a year ago. But um, April doesn't really like historical fantasy that much. Was I love historical fantasy. So I was like, yes, I will take it. Um, it is signed. Has a tip-in sheet. And then it has this beautiful under the dust jacket. Um, I only have the paperback, so this is a step up. <laughs> Beautiful under the dust jacket. I love this gold color and the um, inlay. And it also has, probably lots of people have seen this already, but this is new to me. It has this beautiful art piece. So I'm excited. I'm gonna stick it on my like favorites shelf. Um, because I do absolutely love this series. I really can't wait to read our Violent Ends. Um, and I'm very glad to have this beautiful edition of these Violent Delights. I think I have the first one like somewhere back in here. Might be down the bottom. Yeah, down the bottom. Down there. I think the colouring, the original's silver maybe on the text. I think or white and this is gold as well. Because the cover will be slightly different. And we have two more things. We have 
Tercial and Eleanor by Garth Nix, which is the newest Old Kingdom Chronicles book. This follows, um, Sabriel's parents? Yes, Sabriel's parents. So, the original Borson from the first book, um, and Sabriel's mum. Um, Eleanor, Eleanor. And Eleanor's across the wall. She's in Encelsia, and, um, Tercial lives in the Old Kingdom. There's obviously, I think, the abortion in training. Oh, the abortion in waiting here. Yeah. Um, I really love this series. It's hard to explain. It's very old school high fantasy. But I really, really love the series. And I'm all caught up now. So I was excited to be able to pick this up, like, pretty quick <laughs> when it came out. And hopefully I'll read it soon. I passed it on to my friend to read as well because she absolutely loves the series. So, yeah, I'm really excited about this one. Uh, Garth Nix is also an Australian author. And finally, we have my LGBTQ plus read subscription box book, and that is The Heartbreak Bakery by A.R. Capetta. This is a um, beautiful little book. Look at that colour. Um, it is a magical real, uh, fabulous magical realist um, story, I believe. And yeah, so everyone who eats... Sid, the main character, who's uh, non-binary, um, everyone who eats Sid's breakout brownies breaks up. Um, so the like queerness, contemporary-esque, but with a vibe, um, and a little bit of magic, bakery. I really, really liked, um, what was their other book? I don't think it says in here. Um, the Lost Coast um, by A.R. Carpetta I was obsessed with. So I think this one could go really, really well as well. Um, and I love this cover. It's just so good. I hope I love this. So those are all the books I picked up in the month of November. Let me make a little stackeroo. Ugh, here it is. It's not a huge stack. It could be a bit huger, but uh, I can hold it this time, which says something. Um, and I'm very excited to read all of these, so I really hope I get to them soon. Yes! Um, I think I'm just going to love them to pieces. So, if you've read any of these, let me know your, like, one-word thought um, about them. I would love to hear it. And otherwise, I'll see you soon with another video. You'll definitely see my haul coming up. I mean, my wrap-up coming up. And you'll definitely see vlogs. So, keep an eye out for all of those, and I'll see you soon in another video.